Hello and welcome to The Dinosaur for week 52, another seven curious interesting things I saw last week, uh, and yes it is the last one for 2022, uh, and though it's not particularly festive, uh, that's just how it works sometimes in innovation, there you go. Um, this is the Zava 1000, this is a piece of military kit, there have been several um, versions of this over the years, this is the latest version, there's another version that can actually sit across fields, so hundreds of metres away and do the same thing, but this one, by the looks of it, goes up against the wall. Now what does it do? It uses ultra wideband radars, otherwise known as radio waves, look inside the building and figure out the layout and also if there's anybody in there moving about and where they are. So this can look at things like height, location, um, it can therefore figure out whether somebody is lying down or standing up or walking about or whether it's a pet or a human or not. Uh, and it can essentially map the interior of buildings. So this is clearly military operation or uh, military uh, operations only use this. Um, I'm not quite sure what you'd use this for in civilian worlds, but there you go. Thought it was interesting, slightly creepy to know about, but there you go. Uh, the EU are starting to finalise their new battery laws. These will come into effect, or starting to come into effect next year, but go all the way up to 2030. Um, so this is uh, all about the batteries that you have in your devices. This applies to really big companies that actually sell anything in the EU or manufacture in the EU as well. Um, so if you're a small to medium uh, enterprise, doesn't apply to you. Likewise, if you don't uh, do anything in Europe, doesn't apply to you. Everybody else probably does. So uh, this also applies to EV manufacturers or suppliers as well as uh, portable devices, uh, phones, um, cameras, that sort of thing. So uh, it has four parts to it. One is batteries must be traceable. Um, so we've seen all uh, logistics um, hit the news. So where does it come from? What the, uh, specifications and what chemicals are in it? There should be a QR code on all of your batteries so the public can trace and know what the deal is. Secondly, customers need to be able to replace uh, easily and remove the batteries from their devices. So no more sealed units um, which tempt people to throw them away, etc. Uh, at the end of their life. Um, and there is a minimum uh, materials recycle target as well for things like cobalt, lead, lithium and nickel. And finally, um, this is quite a big one. So all batteries must be collected free of charge and it doesn't matter what's in them or what brand or origin they must be collected free of charge as well so if you are in the game of supplying electronic devices within Europe then you might want to look at this uh, soon. Uh, point E this is the the cousin of DALI uh, DALI is the thing that makes images from text inputs now this makes uh, 3D inputs or 3D outputs from text inputs um, so uh, we've seen a few research papers that show the results of this but it's now essentially you can go and have a play with it so go and link to uh, hug face. I'll put the link at the bottom there. It's also in the description and you can um, do, <laughs> do what I did um, and just find out how terrible it is at this point. So if you work in the 3D industry making models, uh, your job is very safe right now. So as you can see in the top left, a carrot with arms is just terrible. Uh, an elephant with five legs has no idea what to do with. Um, likewise, a slice of cake obviously is trying to give me a cupcake, and I can get all these sorts of things from Turbo Squid anyway. If you start to do what I thought it was going to be brilliant for, something a little bit more weird, a little bit more interesting, like an apocalyptic future. Um, it just created this weird marshmallow type of dome thing. So um, I'm not really sure what use this is, uh, other than um, a sort of just a piece of amusement at the moment but clearly this is going to get better but now you can play with it there you go um, if you do 3d printing uh, as I do that's what that thing is behind me then you know the bane of your life is uh, overhangs and if something is overhanging then it needs a support beneath it and cutting off supports and designing those is a real pain. So this is a really really interesting update in 3D printing. So this is Stephen McCulloch who has done this algorithm uh, and it's called Arc Overhangs and essentially uses a bunch of radiating what look like lily pads uh, where you can adhere to the side of them and you can do some really really funky overhangs without any supports whatsoever. Here goes a great example there. So that's kind of neat. Uh, you can update your 3D printer or your slicer to use this if you really want to. Um, and you can start using that, so that's very exciting. Looks a little clunky at the moment. I'm not sure about the structural rigidity of the piece, um, but it does look kind of funky. There you go. Uh, Google, and this uh, they have issued what they've have, uh, insiders have said is a code red, and in um, response to the threat of chat GPT. Now chat GPT, if you didn't know, if you've been living in a cave for the last couple of months, is a 
a sort of a text chatbot where it uses artificial intelligence to have a chat with you and it can come up with all sorts of interesting stuff and as an example I've done uh, a thing on the left from Google uh, and the thing on the right from ChatGPT and what I asked it was what should I buy my dog for Christmas uh, that he won't find frightening. Uh, on the left you find Google A, uh, hit you with loads of ads and then it's just stuff about fireworks and how to calm your dog down if it has anxiety. As you can see from GPT-3 uh, or GPT Chat, then uh, it actually gives you some really, really good advice. Consider their interest, appropriate size, avoid loud noises, introduce them generally and, and also gradually, uh, and also consider their age and physical abilities, etc., etc. It's a far better search result. Chat GPT is also really good at lying to you very convincingly if you don't really know. If it doesn't know the answer, it will be very convincing at telling you the wrong answer. So there's some work to be done there, but this is an existential threat to Google, essentially, uh, if people start to prefer the thing on the right versus the thing on the left. So they've done a code red, which basically means all hands to the pump. Uh, we need to get this out ASAP. They've already got some things in the works, but they just haven't brought it into the, the world yet. So look out for that. Um, this is an interesting story, uh, an interesting tale. Uh, so this actually happened in 2020, but uh, the papers have just been sort of released uh, for people to see the details. Uh, these were two uh, people who uh, were arrested and convicted um, for two things really, um, or two main things. Uh, one is uh, what's called a swatting. So if you swat, it basically means you uh, phone through something that is fake, but a violent thing is happening in a household somewhere. Please send armed police. Uh, and then whoever's living in that place gets the on police turn up. Now this is a really good jape, uh, I guess, if you are on a live stream and people then phone in a SWAT attack and it all happens live on the stream, puts people in uh, terrible danger, um, and that's the internet we live in at the moment. However, this uh, these two that did this were also hacked into ring cameras to record the police arriving as well. So it's a really interesting hacking slash misuse of technology um, that um, was multiple failures on multiple levers. It was people who had Yahoo email accounts that used the same password for their Ring device. So if that's you, please change it now. And finally, I thought I'd better end 2022 on robot dog news. Um, this one uh, doesn't have any killer things on it right now, but it does climb up walls. So I thought, what, what a creepy way to end the year. Um, it can not only climb up walls, but it can also climb on ceilings as well, as you're about to see. Now, don't worry, it only uses magnets for its feet. So it's not doing anything uh, that could probably harm you. Um, but they had these kind of rubber magnet feet things. Um, but the way it does that is kind of cool. It uses different gates for walking. It can also walk up the Things like you know grain silos if they're make it made of metal as you're seeing here so um, for the rest of us not a problem um, if you do live in a metal house then uh, you should probably panic uh, sometime soon so uh, Merry Christmas there you go um, hopefully that was useful hopefully it was interesting hopefully you enjoyed them all the way throughout 22 if you did uh, give us a, a like give us a shout uh, send it to somebody lovely and I will see you in the new year